hello hello welcome back everyone my name's tara if you're new here welcome on in and if you've been here before welcome back today i am excited to share with you the last episode of arcane don't really know how to feel yet to be honest with you because i've managed to steer clear of spoilers pretty well for the year that this show has been out and i am pretty stoked to say that i actually have like I don't know if there's going to be another season. I don't really know how this ended. I don't know anything at this point, which I'm pretty stoked for. I cannot believe we are bringing in the new year ending on what's most likely going to be a very tragic ending. I can't thank you guys enough for the wild year that we have had and the upcoming year that we are about to have. I don't think there will be an upload on Monday, but we will collectively as a community decide what you guys think I should react to next. Will it be a little less emotional? Probably not. Without further ado, because why wait, let's get into episode 9. Guess we should talk about where we left off. Mixed emotions about everybody at this point, to be honest. Um, on the plus side, Echo's alive, and that's kind of all I care about at the moment, because he is a character that I genuinely enjoy. Yeah, Jinx showed up at the end of Caitlyn's shower, and I think she, she took her, so let's see what happens next. And the big battle in the Shimmer. Mines. He didn't have a choice. He knew what he was signing up for. We're done here. We haven't even scratched the surface. Silco's still out there. Do you not understand? I am part of this now. The next parents who get a message their kid isn't coming home, I, I don't even know where to take him. Do we just leave him here? You've always been a part of this. You just never had to look it in the eye. One dead kid? There's hundreds more where he came from, thanks to Silco, and thanks to people like you who stuck their heads in the dirt. This is over. Not for me. Did she just take all that shimmer? What happens now? It's been a while since Topside's gotten this bold. Say what you want about the late sheriff. He had his uses. Too bad Jinx didn't think so. We'll buy another. You gotta do anything about that piece of shit that murdered my boy. Let me guess. <gasps> Jinx will take care of it. Just like she's been taking care of everything else. I never pieced together that that was her son. Dirt. I know this will probably never see the light of day, but watching how you work so tirelessly to make the world a better place, well, I couldn't forgive myself if I didn't try. Everyone's got to do their part, right? Oh, man, I wasn't ready for that. Stay away from Jinx. You really are fond of him. Better yet, march back to your ship and get the hell out of my city. Get hold of yourself. What was that? I you better. Ew. <laughs> Is that a lobster? <laughs> In trouble now. The man who killed your brother doesn't believe the score is settled. And his resources exceed ours. If there is a chance Hextech can be weaponized, we must have it. Piltover isn't your testing ground. I would set the world ablaze to protect our family. <laughs> I stop being part of this family the moment you cast me out. Why? Why did you do it? Because you weakened me. 
couldn't endure the look in your eyes whenever I made the decisions, the necessary decisions to keep us safe. She didn't want to disappoint her daughter. <laughs> Why is this episode so sad? Home, take your place at my side. It's where you belong. But where you met? Am I interrupting? You have to destroy it. I know. The hex core. You have to. Please. Pursuit of great, we fail to do good. I don't know why I'm so emotional. <laughs> we have to make it right. When you took Vander out of play, I thought now here's the man who understands what it takes to run an enterprise. The attitude, the instinct, the eye, the whole package you were always. Two steps ahead. You screwed up, Silco. You're too young to remember what the Undercity was before it became an enterprise. We had nothing. You know what bore us through those times? Loyalty. Oh my gosh. Ah, I did not see that coming. What the heck? Free trade routes, blanket amnesty, unrestricted access to the Hexgate sovereignty. You really think you're in a position to demand all this? I'm trying to save you from annihilation. Well, well. Not the fresh faced Academy pledge. You'll discontinue the production of Shimmer. Half there already. Return the gemstone. And I need Jinx. She has to pay for what she's done. They weren't her crimes. She was working for me. Believe me, if I had it my way, it'd be you rotting in Stillwater. But we can't make a deal with a snake and cut off its head. Get me Jinx, and I'll give you your nation of Zon. Um. Yikes. Oh, he took him to his place. Astonishing. You say all this so came sad. about in your own brief lifespan? How were you able to accomplish so much so quickly? You'd be surprised what you can pull off when your life depends on it. Uh, uh, why this form? Surely there are more efficient and safer methods of transportation. Oh my god, I just, I'm gonna cry this whole episode. <laughs> didn't even haggle. And what do I lose but problems? Oh, it all makes sense now, brother. Okay, you now I'm even more sad. He's actually talking to Vander? Like... Is there anything so undoing as a daughter? I can't say that.
much as I don't like Saviga, at the same time, she's actually so cool. Like, she's genuinely a very powerful woman to an extent. I do think... You know what? Actually, she does She does pretty much think for herself, too, actually. Yeah, no, she's a pretty cool character. I don't agree with her, but she's cool. I wish I could say it gets easier, kiddo, but I'd be lying. What I can say is, she still needs you. They all do. So what do you say? My recent unsanctioned activities in the underground have shown me two things. I'm not fit to govern the people who live there. And neither are you. Our opportunity to demonstrate our compassion, our dedication, our solidarity has passed. They're right not to trust us. You're walking a fine line, James. With respect, I don't give a shit what any of you think of me anymore. Except you. You were right. You were always right. My days here are numbered, but I've come with Victor, my partner, and a Zonite, with one final proposal. Jace has brokered a peace with Silco in exchange for the Undercity's independence. What nonsense! We have peace! Is she gonna change her mind? Now she's gonna- well, I mean, okay, it's reasonable, I get it, like, family, but still! She's just gonna change her mind! She, I hope she doesn't. Really thought I buried this place. But, I should've known better. Coder! Nothing ever stays dead. Are we alone? For now. Maybe forever. Wanna 
I know a secret? Silco thinks he made Jinx. With all his ranks and his hard-won lessons. Excise your doubts, Jinx. Be what they fear, Jinx. Like everything was the same as when Vander left him. But he didn't make Jinx. You did. I'm sorry, Powder. I never meant to leave you. You never left. I always heard you. Shadows in the streets. Prickles on the back of my neck. Your voice pushing me, picking me up when all the colors were black. You're the reason I'm still alive. I spent so many nights in that shitty prison on that freezing floor, hungry, bloody, counting the hours. The only thing, the only thing that kept me going was the thought of getting back to you. Are we still sisters? Nothing is ever going to change that. Wait. Oh no. I paid your girlfriend a visit this morning. What did you do? I made her a snack. No! I'm not that crazy. Should I sit? That's your choice, really. Make her go away. Please. Send her on her way anyway. Mm. And you can have powder back. Powder, listen. We, we can just go. We'll leave and never come back. Where would we go? Her name is Jinx. She's lying. You'll be with her a day before she realizes you aren't that girl anymore and turns her back on you. You aren't lying. You wouldn't lie to me. Not again. I'm not lying. I'm on your side. I promise. <laughs> Shut up! We're talking! The top side has offered me everything. Independence, a seat at the table. All in return for you. They can all burn. Everyone betrays us, Jinx. Vander. Her. They will never understand. It's only us. Oh. You're my daughter. I'll never forsake you. Drop the gun! Please.
just happened? Okay. That's sad. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. I'll be okay. Maybe you could love me like you used to. Even though I'm different. But you changed too. So, here's to the new us. Of all, for me to live, I gotta kill the part of me that saw that I needed you more. I hope you know we had everything, but you broke me and left these pieces. I'll show them. Councillor Talis's proposal for peace. She went against her mom. <gasps> it ripped out all my parts. I couldn't care what invention you made me. meant to be yours well, you broke me and left these pieces I want you to hurt like you hurt me today I want you to lose like I lose when I play what could have been that's how they're gonna end that? That's the end? We have to wait to find out what happens next? Are you kidding me? Is there even gonna be a next? You guys, I'm sad. I'm very sad. But I'm angry. I'm- what? Who ends something like that? What? Why? Like, what? Who- what? This show is so good at making you feel bad for the people who do bad things. It's insane. And I understand that some of it is just misunderstanding. And I understand that. It's still, it's still a difficult emotion because you don't want to like these people, but then they're making you feel some type of way. I could kind of see Jinx being Silco's undoing from us like kind of seeing how much he cared. I could kind of see that coming, but it was still so very sad. I like that Echo and Heimerdinger are kind of working on things together. That's a vibe and a half. I really like Heimerdinger. I understand he was stuck in his old ways, but like I feel like it took him seeing it to actually grow, and I think he can grow. 
Um, I'm actually really sad because, like, I don't like the council, per se. Um, I, It's a whole thing, but basically, I'm not the biggest fan, but it makes me so, so sad because it's Caitlyn's mom. It's Caitlyn's best friend. Like, did Jinx just kill everybody? Probably. It's kind of interesting seeing Jinx. It's crazy because she leaves it up to other people, but, like, Jinx, like, she is fully, like, doing what she wants to do. Like, she is doing what she believes is the right thing to do. I really like how they portray her inner struggle. I genuinely think that they did a fantastic job doing it. Do I have questions still? Yes. Do I have them right now? No. I have a feeling what could happen if there's a second season. I didn't actually, I like, I haven't looked at any announcements if there are. I have a feeling what could happen is either something really bad happens to the people on the council or somebody is going to make it out of the council room. And Mel's mom, I think, is going to become a bigger part of what just happened. I It really sucks because Mel was finally doing what she wanted to do. And then, of course, here it goes. gets taken away. Thank you guys so much for watching this with me. I genuinely really like it. Um, be sure to follow all the socials. Join the Discord if you want. I have a feeling I might be trying League of Legends for the first time if you guys want to come hang out. I would really love to discuss this with you real time, so I might do that over on my Twitch sometime. I will be sure to let you guys know time and a place in the new year. I hope you have an amazing new year. Thank you so much for this adventure this year. I can't thank you guys enough for the emotional roller coasters we've been on. Please let me know down below what anime... I am taking everything into account, so t uh, let me know what anime you think... I should watch next or TV show honestly it could be anything just let me know what you recommend I watch I am fully open thank you guys so much for everything I genuinely appreciate it I'm gonna go curl up in a ball and be very sad for the rest of the day